breakfast. It wasn't a Mom McMuffin, but he said, how about some of those ricochet biscuits? <laughs> so we laughed a bunch, and now they're renamed forever by me, my girls, as the ricochet biscuits. <laughs> he was an amazing person that may have taken a few wrong turns in life, but he got on the right path, found me, kept going Godspeed ahead. I love you, Dad. Hello, my name is Kayla, and I'm Grandpa David's granddaughter. I will always remember Grandpa for his strong voice, his love for God, and his selflessness to help people. One of my very first memories of Grandpa was when he came back on a trip to North Dakota to visit us, and we all went on a horse ride. The horse that I was on loved to race and was very stubborn. We were all walking down the road just casually, and then all of a sudden, my horse decided, oh, we're going to go on a race. Grandpa decided he had to save me. <laughs> Mind you, this was the first time he had ever ridden a horse. <laughs> But he thought I was in big trouble, and he wanted to save me, so he kicked his horse, and off we went, off he went chasing after us. Well, my horse then thought it was the Kentucky Derby, <laughs> and did not stop until everyone was yelling at Grandpa, slow down, slow down, and eventually, you know, we all slowed down, and everything came to a halt, but that was my first memory of Grandpa. Um, my very last memory, our wedding. Um, we just got married on the 1st of July this summer and Grandpa made the road trip all the way back to North Dakota with a van full of antiques like I had. Uh, when he left the night of the wedding, Kyle and I were taking private sunset photos with a photographer and Grandpa was going around the reception asking everyone, where is Kyle and Kayla? I'm going back to California. Where are they at? And well, somebody had finally told them that we were off taking pictures. So all of a sudden, before you know it, I look out across the rough terrain, the rough prairie, and Grandpa's coming with this walker, almost falls in a badger hole, and says, hey, I'm going back to California, give me a hug. Aww. Well, we weren't done with pictures yet. And so actually, this large picture that Bob printed out over here um, was him sitting there and watching us take our wedding pictures for, I would say, 15 minutes, and we just sat there and visited, and the photographer took pictures, and after that, he uh, gave us all a big hug and told us to put God first in our marriage, and Lord, we are so thankful that he made the trip back to North Dakota to be there. Um, those are the very last moments we got with him. It's the last time we saw him. His love for his family and his friends was so big. Did he ever love all of us, all of us sitting in this room today? He never missed a chance to tell us how much he loved us. Glory be to God for giving us the years and the memories and the moments that we got with him. As many probably know already, Grandpa loved his trips to North Dakota. He always greeted us with his big hugs that we all loved so much. Each time he visited, he'd always tell me the same story about how when I was little, I'd come running in a mad dash out of the house and run and jump up into his arms and get my big grandpa hug. As I got older, he always, he'd always finish that story with, you can't do that now, you knocked knock me over, you're all grown up. <laughs> One of my last memories with grandpa was a little over a month ago when he visited North Dakota for my sister and Cal's wedding. I had just recently graduated college and moved into my own house, and Grandpa was determined to fill it with food before he went home. <laughs> I picked him up and we went to the grocery store. He hopped on a scooter and I grabbed a cart and we went up and down every aisle in that store. He had me grab four cans of canned asparagus, and his exact words were, this stuff's good. Grab some cans now, because I know you won't buy them on your own. <laughs> and I laughed to myself, because I knew he was right. As we made our way through the store, he grinned from ear to ear. And I knew it meant a lot to him, knowing I was taken care of in my new place before he went home. But that's who Grandpa was. He put God first, and he loved bigger than anyone I know. Even when he was 
back home, there was always countless cherished text messages, phone calls, and voicemails to check in and tell us about what he was up to here, serving others and helping friends. He made sure we were doing okay, and he always wanted to make sure we knew just how much he loved us and missed us. We love you too, Grandpa. We miss you more than words can describe, and we'll be okay from here, knowing you're watching over us each and every day.